Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another quick build. We're going to be taking a look at Master Yi today. As for your abilities while playing Master Yi, at level 1, put a point into your Q, which is your Alpha Strike. You will be maxing this out first. At level 2, put a point into your Wuju style. That is going to allow you to just deal more damage overall, which is really, really good. You're going to max this out second. And then at level 3, put a point into your Meditate. This helps you block all that damage and heal up a little bit. We're going to max this out last. And then obviously points into the ultimate at levels 6, 11, and 16. As for the rune page I like to take when I'm playing as the master of the Yi, um, we're gonna go with the 80 jungle page. Now this page for me consists of attack damage marks. It's gonna have the armor seals. It will also have flat magic resist glyphs. The reason that they're flat on the 80 jungle page is because you wanna get ahead early. So you wanna block the damage early so you can snowball. And that's exactly how master Yi works most of the time. And then as for the quintessences, you actually have two choices here. Um, I like movement speed, it's great for ganks and finishing off people. Um, probably not as necessary on Yi, he's fast anyways but uh, attack damage is also the other one you could consider using here. And for the mastery page, what we're going to do is take our AD jungle page. That is going to consist of 21 in the offense and 9 in the defense. 21 in the offense helps you out with all the damage that you want to snowball your early leads that you get from ganking. And then 9 in the defense to help you out a little bit there with the jungle and while ganking. As for the items that I like to take when I'm playing as Master Yi, starting off, we're going to obviously pick up the Hunter's Machete and then a couple of health pots, head into the jungle, obviously pick up a early warding totem, sell this late and pick up your sweeper though, because you're going to want a sweeper later on. Early items will consist of the Stalker's Blade and then your boots, and then you're going to probably start working towards those daggers typically. Now there's two options here really, if you're going to pick up the daggers, what you're going to be building that into will be the Stalker Blade with the Devourer, which is going to be like the Feral Flare of Season 5. Now, if you don't like doing that and you want to go for kind of an earlier Bruiser build, you'll actually pick up a Brutalizer and build that into the Warrior Enchantment, which is also very good. Um, both of them I can see working very well. Kind of depends on what you're up with, but if uh, you want to farm the jungle hard and scale like Feral Flare Yi, you're going to want to pick up Devourer. Um, but if you skip out on Warrior and you still want to pick up a Brutalizer, that is really good too because that will help you early as well because we will be building that into another item. And then you're going to probably pick up your Berserker Grease for that increased attack speed and movement speed. Uh, for So for what I would call for your core build is you'd pick up the Stalker's Blade with the Devourer, then you would build that next Brutalizer into a Yumu's Ghost Blade which is going to help you out in various ways. Then you have your Boots. Then I like to get the Infinity Edge. He really does do great with more crit chance and that much more attack damage. Then you start to hit really really hard instead of hitting them lots of times while they run away. Then to help with the, all of the attacks, the attack speed and lifesteal, um, get the Blade of the Rune King. If you need to pick up the Vampire Acceptor part of this early, that does help you out a little bit too. And then typically if they're building armor at this point, which I would think you already won the game with those first items, but if they are stacking armor at this point to deal with you, pick up a Last Whisper. Now as for options in this build, there's a couple different ways you can go. I've seen people do many different things. Obviously, if you want to knock off the Last Whisper or one of the other items and go for a Guardian Angel for some survivability and the ability to come back and clean up a fight, then a Guardian Angel might be good for you. Um, I've seen people almost drop both of these items out and go with a different build where it's, it's actually Hydra Phantom Dancer. These are almost interchangeable with these. If you want actually to get rid of the blade and kind of sacrifice a little bit of attack speed with just more damage, you could do a Hydra build. Um, but if you want more attack speed, and you wanted to get rid of the Infinity Edge, you could just throw in a Phantom Dancer. So there's kind of a couple different ways around this build, whether you want to be super fast, tons of attacks, and lots of little hits, or lots of big hits of a couple less attacks. So there's a couple options in there, depending on how your playstyle works. But that will be a quick build for Master Yi. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. And other than that, good luck out there on the Fields of Justice.